So I suppose it is time to announce few stuff that I've been working behind the scenes and some of you already know. Next week is a pretty big moment for VR in my eyes with the PSVR 2 launch and I've been thinking more and more about it over the course of few weeks. The more I realize what the state VR is and meta altogether, the more I feel like as a YouTuber I have to expand and see some other options in case one thing completely crashes down which is on a very good way to do it. For me, I always think about innovation and like what's next, like what's the next big thing. This new headset, for some reason, I feel like this is gonna be pretty big and I decided that I want to get into it and into the PlayStation ecosystem because there's a lot of good games out there that I'm not sure if they will ever come to the Quest platform. And I feel like doing two platforms at the same time will not hurt me in a long run. It kind of puts more work on me, which I already have a lot in my life but I had a lot of time to think about it and just how to manage stuff. I already got the PlayStation you can see on the photo that I'll put where it is, like I had to <laughs> free up some space. I feel like I got very lucky because I got it just at the exact start of the restock directly from the PlayStation site, so that automatically means for the lowest price. Like I remember during COVID there was this whole scalper situation going on and I was worried that I won't get it in time. There was some kind of delay on it because packages don't come to me nowadays and I need to search for them in the city somewhere like it's just a bit ridiculous like every single thing if it's the pro headset this console or probably PSVR 2 as well I'll have it few days later and eventually I'll start working with it my initial tactic is that in terms of playthroughs two from the quest and one from the PSVR. It doesn't seem to be overly complicated nor hard to do. And at the start I'm gonna be selective of what I'm playing because this is not my primary thing to do. It's something that I want to commence and not take it too seriously at least for now. Quest 2 stays strong for me and that's not gonna change anytime soon unless Meta wants it. And a small hint of what's gonna be first coming on the channel from it. Of course Horizon, like this is the most brainless thing that you can think of me as a player. Archery, adventure, action, just it's ideal and something that I will excel very well at. So pretty much all across the board I'm excited to see the future with it and how it's gonna expand my horizons if you will. <laughs> Can't wait for the next week to happen and let's just see what this brings to us here.